Okay, for this uh, particular question, we're going to use the tool of a two-circle Venn diagram to uh, segregate the data a little bit more than was originally given to us. Uh, as we look over this, we know we only need two circles because we're given two types of uh, categories. We've got the dog owners and we've got cat owners out of the total uh, 90 pet owners. When we're doing these type of Venn diagrams, where we always want to start, and this took me a little bit of practice to learn, is that you always want to start in the center. You want to find the place where you have both categories, dog and cat owner, six of them. So that's where we're going to start with. Um, but I guess first we really should set up our circles. So let's call one of them our dog owners. So we'll call the black enclosed circle the dog owners. The red enclosed circle will be our cat owners. And so these six that own both a dog or a cat, dog and a cat, that's overlapping area. So the six go here. As we work backwards, we see that we had 49. We have 49 cat owners. So the red circle contains a total of 49. We've already accounted for six of them. So what we have is 49 minus the six. And that's going to leave us with 43 cat owners over here. And these would be the, the pet owners who only own a cat. Now, if you've looked ahead, you'll see we've answered the question, but I want to continue building this Venn diagram so that we can be able to deal with the more complicated case, which is uh, three different categories. So now we're at the dog owners, and we know that there's 15 of them. Again, it's not 15 that goes in this region. It's 15 total in the black circle. So we have to take our 15, subtract off the six we've already counted right here in the middle, and so that's going to leave us with 9. And when we add these three together, 43 plus 6, that's giving us 49. 49 plus 9 is going to give us 58. We have 90 pet owners, we haven't counted for all of them, so then we take our 90 and subtract the 58 that we've accounted for, and we'll find out those who do not own a cat or a dog. They have some other kind of a, a pet. So when we do the subtraction here, uh, we're going to see that we get 32. Okay. So 32 are out here. Again, getting back to the question that was asked, and sometimes I'll ask more than one, um, we're asked how many owned a cat but not a dog, and that's going to be these 43 right here. So the answer to the question is 43. But we also could have asked, answered the question how many pet owners don't own a dog or a cat, that would be 32. How many only own a dog, that would be 9. Um, of course, they gave us the how many on both in the, in the beginning, but you see that once we get a Venn diagram set up, we can answer multiple questions 